what is going on everybody welcome welcome to the channel this has been a uh, a place where we have documented honestly a transformation this is my own personal road to i actually don't know how to pronounce that word but if you're christian if you know you know my conversion to the gospel that is country music dude i don't there is no other way to say this but i have become a happier better person since uh letting country into my heart one of the key people in that transformation has been Con conway twitty on this channel we we've checked out some of his stuff that's like sexy bro um i love to lay you down um type it in jeans then some of his you know more beautiful stuff like that's my job you've never been this far before is another one of those those songs who do they think he was it's only make believe well today we are checking out what is apparently like this is the one I should have checked out from way back when. Thanks to a donation and suggestion from Michael J. He says, hello, darling, put Conway on the country music map. Rarely can an artist be identified by one song as easily as their name. But this song did just that. His biggest and most iconic hit of all is his 55 number one. Sorry, I read that wrong. This is his biggest and most iconic hit of all of his 55 number ones, which is unbelievable. So out of stupidity, we have not checked this out until now. So let's do this now. Thank you so much, folks, for clicking on this video and coming to hang out. Thank you, Michael, for putting this on our radar. Let's all sit back and just enjoy some, I don't know what type of song this is going to be. So let's see. Hello, darling. Nice to see you. It's been Uh, How's your new love? Just these smooth jams, baby. Hope you're doing fine. Just to know it means so much to me. Mm -hmm. What's that, darling? How am I doing? I'm doing. I cry all night till dawn. What I'm trying to oh. say is I love you and I miss you. I'm so sorry that I did you wrong. Oh, man. Look up, darling. Okay, nice. It's, it's interesting because it's not like he's like this like shredded cut aging dude it's that voice of his with the smoothness of the songs that's getting you know like leave some chicks for the rest of us right what's so interesting about this era by the way it's how much shorter these songs are than what we get nowadays i mean especially after like when we went into like the metal era like i was i listened to a lot of metallica growing up dude so many of their songs are like eight nine minutes long just quick in and out two minutes boom smooth honestly i i wish they were a little longer just because like the smooth and the feeling you get you know i wish i wish it was a little longer sometimes we'll listen through we'll uh, read through the lyrics in a sec but here it comes that voice Look up, <laughs> Let me kiss. just fall Yeah. May God bless you and each step you take bring you closer to the things you seek to find. Goodbye, I gotta go. Gotta try. To fall, give me, come back, darling. I'll be waiting for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
And let's just take a minute to appreciate the confidence with the with you know these the the, the tacos right here, right? The confidence, bro. That's what it's all about. Yeah, that's a great jam. Great, great song. So there's so many different styles of country, right? There, you got your bluegrass, you got, you know, your mod modern country, you have your, you know, like the stuff we listen to with like Toby Keith and whatnot. This like more like, I, I mean, then we have the Johnny Cash, right? This, this super chill with just super smooth steel guitar, sliding guitar stuff going. Um, This to me is its own genre, maybe. And I'd like to make myself like a little playlist of this sort of country because a lot of my playlists will have like, you know, the celebratory um, enjoy life a little bit more upbeat type stuff. I really like the, the like smooth listening. His voice is just beautiful. Like what a man, right? That's a man. So it seems like the song is about uh, a, a pair who's broken up. It's been a long time. You're just as lovely as you used to be. How's your new love? Are you happy? I'm doing all right. I except I can't sleep and I cry all night. What I'm trying to say is I love you and I miss you and I'm sorry that I did you wrong, right? So the girl that got away and it's your fault. <laughs> Let me kiss you for all time's sake. Let me hold you in your arms one more time. But then this, you know, willingness to to accept like, look, I didn't treat you the way you, you I, I should have. So may God bless you any shape you take. Goodbye, darling. Gotta go now. Gotta try to find a way to lose these memories of a love so warm and true. If you should ever find it in your heart to forgive me, come back, darling. I'll be waiting for you. That's very, very, very beautiful. Um, a, a, a classic theme in, in 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 love, especially sad love songs. Again, because of your decisions, you lose on the, that one that you love. But things, you know, ultimately, we, like you all know, things all will ultimately work out. But what's fun is to liken music to yourself, right? So this is what goes through my mind as I listened to that. I've mentioned this sort of story on the channel tons of times. But my wife and I, you know, we 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 met, we we dated for for a while. And I came in a little too strong to be honest. And so like after like a few months she was like I think she was feeling like pressured. So we we took a step back. And you know what, like, if I were to ever be giving dating advice, I, I you know, I would, especially like today in the modern day, you, uh, you just have to make the goal to just, when you're with each other, it, everything, it's an escape from worry. When you're together, you just have fun. Don't try to get something and to own someone and their time, right? Just when, when they're there, have the best time you can. But I was trying to, you know, lock her down and whatnot. And, and with that pressure and we took that step back, like if I were to have listened to this song during that time, I was like, freaking A, that was a stupid thing I did. And, and so I, even though I don't, um, even though I don't uh, like feel the words of the song in the way it's written, I don't have that one person I feel like got away from me. No, I, I ended up with my dream woman. But for a short period of time, I'm like, God, gosh, dang it. Nothing she had to forgive me for. But anyway, so we took that step back with confidence and things worked out. Right. So just Conway Twitty is just smooth. That's that, that's my best way to describe him. Smooth, a smooth operator. Right. And I love it. Um, overwhelmingly positive comments on this video. Commenters appreciate the nostalgia and emotional connection to Conway Twitty's music. Commenters value authenticity and criticize the current state of country music. I, I can see that, man. I think there's a there's a thirst in modern music for less doctored, less auto tune, less just real, authentic. You, we can feel it. It's one of those things that actually makes me not worried at all about like AI and music. We've been blessed with humans as with an ability to discern when something is real and coming from a person's soul. I think I really think that. And so because I think we're towing so much in the modern age with uh, getting away from that and uh, just using formula and technology to get things out there, there's nothing really that good. And some commenters express their dissatisfaction with current country music, saying it's not real country. I don't know, dude, with some of the modern stuff that I've checked out, though, like, you know, like Hardy and, and Morgan One, I really like it. So it doesn't really. I kind of disagree with that, but but I, I understand the sentiment. Commenters express a desire for live performances and Miss Conway Twitty. A lot of commenters mentioned their longing to see Conway Twitty perform. Is Conway Twitty 
still boring i thought didn't he pass yeah he passed in 1990 freaking three yeah so it just feels like a missed you know opportunity there okay by the way never heard of this yet also known as the high priest of country music that's a dope title he's great man i i love it what do you guys think though comment down below how do you feel about all that to all of you who support the channel thank you helps keep the lights on here but it's also most of that is going to just some you know businesses that my wife and i are starting and whatnot and it means the world uh, make sure to subscribe to our second channel and and ali primary runs that one it's called life of duran go subscribe to that one go you know watch some of our videos there where we document some of our our family stuff and yeah we we'd love for you to be there but thank you all so much for being here we'll see y'all soon